Hey folks, and welcome to Greg's Golf Shack. Do you actually turn in your backswing or do you just think you do? Now, let me start by saying one of the best golf training aids you can have is a video of your swing. Fantastic, more attitude, you're dangerous. Now the reason I mention that is because in filming my last video, I noticed some bad habits pop up in my swing, which kind of inspired this video for a proper rotation. If we haven't played in a while, our bad habits can sneak into our swing. Now a lot of us amateurs think we're doing a big turn, but we're actually doing other movements that kind of restrict our backswing. And it's much easier for us to rotate through to a follow through, but if we have a restricted backswing and then turn our body through, that brings in all kinds of mishits like over the top, coming down steep, flipping the club, hitting off the toe, early extension, all kinds of things. So we're gonna talk about hip rotation and torso rotation. A couple of drills to try, get that feeling. Now when it comes to turning in the golf swing, know your own capabilities. Some of us may have flexibility limitations, we may have injuries that we're managing. So it's important not to overextend ourselves and know our limits. Now first I'm gonna talk about the feeling of proper rotation with our hips because that's the thing that popped up in my last video that I noticed. And you may see in this video clip where I think I'm getting a nice big turn, you can see my hip actually moves out like a sway. And this puts all the weight out on the outer side of my foot and my knee ends up rotating out and my mind and body are tricking me into thinking I'm making a big turn, even facilitating you know, a big cupping of the wrist to make it feel like the club is way behind me and I've got a great big turn. And this sort of sway motion can often lead to a sway back the other way in our downswing. And this is what we call a reverse pivot. And rather than the hips going back and forth, we want them kind of going in and out. So here's kind of a drill to help us get the feeling of how our hips should move. Stand in a nice athletic posture, almost like you're in your golf swing, but bend the knees just a little bit more so we're nice and flexible there. Without lifting up, try and straighten your trail leg a little bit by pushing your hip and your butt cheek back. So try to straighten that knee and you'll notice the hip goes way back. And that's the kind of feeling that you want in the golf swing for hip rotation in your backswing. Now rather than on our downswing bringing that hip forward, the feeling we'd like is the other hip coming back. So try to straighten that other leg and you'll notice we're really pointing out. Now I'm not saying this is the posture for your golf swing, but it's a nice feeling to try and get a hip rotation that goes in and out rather than back and forth. Now when we talk about the torso, it's very easy for us to trick ourselves into thinking we're getting a big turn. And that will usually happen with our arms and our shoulders. So when we turn, it's very easy for us to just kind of move our arms back or roll our shoulders over. And this can feel like a big turn in my backswing. But you'll notice my torso, my chest is still facing towards where my ball would be. And this leads to a downswing where my body turns and I'm already way over top of the ball. So to try to get the feeling for a good torso turn, take your arms and kind of press your elbows into your rib cage and kind of hold them there, not too tight, but don't let them come off your rib cage and bring your hands together like this. And the key is we're going to try to turn our torso without our elbows coming off our rib cage or without our hands separating. You'll notice if I only rotate my arms, my hands separate. If I only rotate my shoulders and arms, my elbow will wanna come off of my chest. But if I try to rotate my torso and keep my elbows there and my hands together, I'm getting a great big turn with my upper body. It's also facilitating a nice hip rotation as well. That is a nice turn where we can be stacked behind the ball. To put this in context with the golf swing, let's take that position and rotate. Now tilt a little bit like you would in the golf swing and look down at where your ball would be. Now keeping your hands together, straighten out your lead arm. Maybe take a golf grip and make sure our hip is back like we talked about. And now this is a really nice rotated stacked position to get behind our ball. So give those drills a try to develop a feeling for a good rotation. I hope those rotation feelings help you 
turn in a better score. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Greg's Golf Shack.